that the Lord Jesus asked the same question. Miracle, miraculous book, miraculous book, telling the future, time and time again. Beginning to end. Beginning to end. Yes. Muslims do not believe 95% of this book. Why? Because they doesn't fit with their 600 years later book. That's why. That's why. That's why. All, all the prophets, all the prophets wrote about the Messiah. All of them. And the Messiah had to give his life to bring victory. If he's a real Messiah. If he's a fake messiah, he does a few miracles, he teaches a few things, then he says, right, I'm going to slip away, and I'm going to die when I'm old. That's a failed messiah, man. A real messiah, he gives his life, he brings victory in the heart. He defeats death. That's exactly what he did. He had to defeat death. Come back from the dead. Now, he said his Holy Spirit. What happens if you believe in Muhammad? Nothing. None happens. Nothing happens inside you. Nothing. What happens if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Comes to live in you. The Spirit of God comes in according to prophecy, like it said He would. Right, the dead stop right there. See this guy? His, his body out there, outside, yeah, eyes, ears, whatsoever. What's inside? That's the house of God. There's the Holy Spirit of God lives in Him. If you're a Muslim, all you have is a dead body. But he's got the Spirit of God inside. That's what a Christian has. Our house, our body, is the house of the Lord. Jeremiah 31, 31. A new covenant, a new testament, a new deal am I making with the house of Israel, etc. And he puts his spirit within your spirit. If you believe it, he changed your life. He will, he will forgive your sins, there's a miracle. He'll come in, change your attitude, there's a miracle. And he'll give you the guarantee of heaven. That's what the book says. Don't go by what the Pope says or the ABC, the Archbishop of Canterbury. Go by the book. Have a look in the book and you will see. And your eyes will be opened if you believe in him as your Lord. Hey, question I came up, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Uh, if you're a Christian, didn't Jesus say by your fruits? The world will know he you are. No, he said right. by your leaves, by your it's singing right. song. No, he didn't, did he? He said by your fruits, by your he character, by who you are, the very essence, your attitude, right. the fruit. Yes. So leading on there, what kind of fruit should any country have that sees Christians at work? Isn't it true? In Britain, Christians gave us the hospitals. Because Jesus is a doctor. Yeah. Isn't it true that Christians built colleges, universities, and schools for people? Children's homes, children's homes so for kids that are struggling. Right. Yeah. That's the fruit of the Spirit of God at work in Great Britain. Why is it in India? Bangladesh. We have. Number one. You're a white guy, yes? I'm a black guy, yes? I'm a white guy, yes? Okay. 200 years ago, was there slavery against my brethren? Who started to stop that? Was he a Christian? Yes. Aha. So the Christians in Britain are the ones who stop Jews. When your allies are giving money to neo-Nazis in Ukraine, how, how can you even call yourself a Christian? Have the Muslims ever had a movement to, to get rid of slavery? No. Why not? I need to put my love. And you think you're innocent, and you act like they were not the terrorists. As the law are the terrorists, they were not the terrorists. I would have hated you when I was 19. I would have hated you, but now I don't. I forgive you for being ignorant, because you're ranting 
and you're ignoring the facts. So it's ignorant. So I forgive you. I was once ignorant when I was 19. I was I was ignorant when I was 19. I believed in me, myself, and I. Now that's ignorant, isn't it? But then I got hold of the Bible and I read about the prophets. Noah, who's your ally? Noah, Musa, Yaqub, Yahya. Come up, come on. Read the prophets, and you'll say the Messiah has to come in the Middle East. Come on, he did. And he had to bring to the victory own. in the That's heart to defeat them. That's, been there. By God. That's what he did. Years ago. No, it's not end of times. It's not end of times. God's cut a deal. God has cut a deal for you. God has cut a deal for you. It's your choice. You can believe what mummy and daddy tell you. I don't. Well, my dad said there's no God. My mum said the Pope is the main man. It's a load of garbage. Mummy, daddy, no. Evaluate. Do your research. Do your. I did my research and I know what's true and what's not fake. If you do your research, you know Amelka sent money to bad battalions of Who's the Azov battalion? 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 Who's the
of atheists when they're dying on the bed. Uh, one of them, Mr. Levey, who started the Church of the Devil in California, the Church of Satan. And he said, on the last days, where he's on bed dying, he said, oh no, please, I, I have made a terrible mistake. You never said that. Rubbish. You're making it up. It's <laughs> not, it's true. Sympathy for the devil. The devil is not your sympathy, Sympathy pal. for the devil. The devil is your enemy. No, he's not. He's my father. It's well, that's your choice. Absolutely true. There you go. Jesus he's, said. He's not going to mistreat me. I know. He's, oh, not, he's my father. Really? Yeah. What? He, he what? Look after me. An abuser. A nice little fire for yeah, me. Yeah, but Satan is an abuser. Yeah, he abuses Christians. No, I'm here. Don't touch me. You need abuse. You can't touch me. Verbal abuse. Uh, hang on. He's got you. He's got you. Yes. My young man, you're playing with fire. Yes, I know. Satan. Next. The word of God says these are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own life. Right. And that's why in Jude it says, rescue them out of the fire, but don't have anything to do with it. I mean, I've never heard a man as big as Corner talk such utter disdain for God's grace and yet love the devil, his own enemy, yeah. the enemy of the soul. And then you people think Speaker's Corner is only for debate. No, it's not. It's light versus darkness. It is the truth versus lies. And there is a good example right here. And he just said that in public. The father of him is Satan. Jesus said, you have your father, the devil. Because you do the works of the enemy. Simple as that. God bless you in Jesus' name.